Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to another video. I know it really hasn't been that long since I built and posted the video for the air-driven in-tank planter and of course put the other one together, but I like the initial results I'm getting. They are doing really well. Even the plants that I thought uh, wouldn't do too good, uh, like the uh, spider plant, they're not thriving, but it's uh, doing okay so far. And the ones that I thought would do well are actually taking off quite nicely. Way better than the planters I made, the ones that just sit in the aquarium without any circulation, and even better than the soil ones. So what I want to do uh, is not waste all that material I put together there. So what I want to do is I want to build a bracket, and I'm going to use as much recycled material as possible for it, and it's going to have a bar that's going to go across the top, and it's going to drip water hopefully into any number of these things. Obviously I'm going to have to modify all of the planters that I made so far so it will fit on this bracket. Uh, but I want to try out two today and I'm going to see how they do. Well, I'll do an update for it on uh, Sunday and see if they've improved at all. Though it might take a little bit longer than that. And uh, we'll see. I do want to get rid of all the soil in those planters. I don't like having all that extra growth in the tanks themselves. The aquatic plants are... They're just growing too quickly and also the water is getting a little too black water like so I would definitely want to uh, get rid of all that and set it up. So what I'm doing here as you can see from the diagram in the beginning is I'm just making two brackets. Uh, this is going to be one in my hand currently is going to sit down in the aquarium and it's going to hang over a little bit on the top so I'm going to have a little bit of lip and that's going to be the uh, surrogate tank lip so where I'm going to be able to hook all the pots. Now the rest of that sticking off to the right is going to be uh, a kind of a splash guard and I'm going to put a bracket on the other side of it that's going to hook actually onto the tank itself. So this is going to be a bit of a tricky weld because they're going to be relatively close together and I'm kind of patching this together on the fly as I'm uh, thinking about how to do this, making sure things are roughly where I want them to be. This is just a quick one of I just want to do a quick test and that's why I'm building such a simple bracket. and. In the long run, if it turns out to be something viable, I will probably put together something different. I, like I said, I just don't want to waste all those um, brackets I put together and all the little planter pots. So hopefully this will allow me to use all those. Uh, well, not all of them because this is only 16 inches long. Uh, but I should be able to put about three or four on here. And initially I'll just, of course, be doing two. I'm going to do a round one and I'm going to do a square one and we'll see uh, you know, how they fit and how they look and then of course most importantly of course is how the plants do in them. So this is like I said not a, uh, not impossible to do but as you can see every now and then I'll hesitate because I'm trying to like I said I'm not really planning this out so much as just hopefully getting everything in relatively the right position. Fortunately because I can cut and adjust pretty much all the ones I've built before. As long as I'm in the ballpark, I think this will be uh, fairly easy to uh, get to be functional at least. So the other nice thing about this is, as you can see at the top of the screen there, that is one of the five airlifts in the, uh, the well, the, <laughs> the now defunct airlift I did for the seven foot tank. It was, it was the five stage is really quite nice um, and I don't really want to waste all that material so I'm going to re reason those as well and as far as new material goes for this build uh, I am going to need a little bit of pipe uh, because there's a pipe that's going to go across the entire length of this and I have to drill some holes in that and of course <clears throat> there's going to be two lift stacks though I think initially I will only do one because I don't know how much water flow I'm going to really need and I don't really want to end up adding too much, so we'll run one initially. So I will need uh, to drill and do that. I'm going to drill it and um, set it up exactly the same way as I did for the other two planters I've done already. And like I said, you're going to get a little bit of a look at them at the end of this video, and <laughs> I'm actually really happy with it. It looks really nicely, and more importantly than that is the aquariums themselves are looking much better without all that added soil in there. Now I am still using the planter, uh, the in-tank planters, the ones with the uh, uh, Valisinaria and Red Luigia. I still have a few of those going and I'm, actually those are fine. For some reason it's the ones sitting at the top of the tank. I'm not sure what the effect is that's happening there, 
but those ones are really altering uh, the chemistry of the tank a lot more than the ones that are in tank. So again, I'll be working on those a little bit more as well, trying to see if I can figure out what the problem is. Uh, but for the moment, I'm just going to um, get rid of the soil on the top for now. So these are the two brackets that are going to hold the two nozzles that are going to lift the water up. Well, actually, one's, one's for lifting right now. And then uh, this, this allows me to have a rigid piece that I can run the pipe between, so I don't really have to weld anything in place as far as that goes. In case I want to pull it apart, uh, change the number of holes, because, like I said, this is all just a guesstimate as to what uh, it needs and how much air is going to be required and how much water I'm going to get out of it for that matter. So I do want it to be adjustable, so I, that way I can take the the pipe and these brackets apart. And then I can just simply uh, drill more holes or whatever and get it to work the way I want it to. So these are quite straightforward. The reason why I'm adding this little L on the side here, I'm not sure how much weight is going to be on these. I just wanted to make sure it was a little bit more rigid. And I do have a lot of space at the top, as you see here, for... Uh, the splash guard so uh, there isn't plenty of room for that and if you notice at the underside I did off camera I welded on the bracket that's going to loop onto the tank all this become quite easy to understand and very straightforward when I install it because it's kind of hard with clear acrylic to see all the little bits and pieces there's a little bit of a tricky weld again because it's uh, such a larger piece but again it doesn't have to be perfect uh, imagine if you uh, have a bigger screen than I'm using here while I'm doing the editing for this. Those two uh, internal brackets, there's definitely a few bubbles, <laughs> if nothing, gaps in those. But again, because there's, uh, it's not really that important, it doesn't need to hold water or anything, it just needs to hold together, uh, it is more than good enough for this. There you go, that's welded on, and now all I need to do is set the brackets in place, the, the, the the ones from the five stage airlift and then measure the gap between them and each like between each other so I know how much uh, pipe to cut uh, and drill some holes and it's pretty much a done thing. Like I said I wanted to slap this together quickly uh, to try it out. First off I wanted to get the soil out of the tanks as quickly as possible and also uh, like I said not waste all that material so not a whole lot of planning went into this it's more of one of those things I just kind of did on the fly I know I scratched it a little bit on a pad there at the beginning of the video just to make sure I don't mess it up too much but again this is just something I was just uh, figuring out as I went along so I'm just going to measure this here and then I am going to run it through the lathe just to make sure the fit is snug because it's the only thing holding this in place as you can see, they're kind of loose right now, but once the pipe goes between the two of them, uh, it'll be much more solid. So there you go, all the pieces are drilled now. This is just the uh, airlift, same as the other two and pretty much every other one I make. And it's going to slide down in, in this particular case, it's going to be uh, what looks to be the back. I think I'm gonna, by the time I put it in the aquarium, I switch it around to the front just so I can have a better look at how it goes. This is going to go between the two. Uh, and it is, like I said, it's just a nice snug little fit, not even tight really. And I'm going to leave that one there, uh, just a short little pipe, just in case uh, there's excess water so it can pour back into the aquarium. And then this is going to be the one air lift for now. If I need more uh, water, uh, it's so easy to, like I said, stick a pipe on the bottom of that one and run another airline. That's the one thing I like about running air uh, and air driven systems. They're so easy to adjust and uh, fiddle with and, you know, tweak until you get what you want. There we go, we got some holes for the water to come out. And now just a matter of sticking this in the aquarium, putting some air on it and see if it works. So let's go over to, here we go. So I have one air on it now. This is the same amount of air for everything else. And I think that's going to be enough for now. That's a fair amount of air. What I can do... Uh, what I can do is I can turn that pipe, um, rotate it so it's a little bit higher, and then that will adjust how much it gets to each of the little spots. But for the moment, I'm only putting in two pots. And as I said, there's another bracket I added on there that you uh, saw just to keep that, uh, again, off camera, just so it holds a bit, more, a bit more vertically. And again, because I'm doing this on the fly, I didn't really plan it out. It was just uh, how it worked out. 
this was not doing well in the planter pot with the soil as you can see that leaf is a little wonky and the roots are not doing as well and same with the prayer plant you're going to see here shortly so i'm really happy to get these out of these things and into hopefully a better environment and we're going to see how they do uh, there'll be definitely an update on this on sunday and upcoming sundays and let me know in the comments below what you think I don't really care for how much water is getting into the round ones, uh, but the square ones are perfectly fine for this because it goes right underneath the lip. So there you go. Let me know what you think, uh, and we will definitely do updates on this. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video, and bye for now.